Hello and welcome to the monthly mystery stream here at 5J Gaming. I am 5J. I'm still in my mind going stream. You gotta say the words stream. It's a real word. <laughs> Anyways, I'm 5J and today we're gonna open my retro game treasure box. I just wanted some background music, so I got um, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse playing on SNES right now. So, some sweet music from Capcom as always. Anyways, this retro box here. I should be doing this on the big the big camera, shouldn't I? Beep, beep, beep. Look how prepared I am. Uh, large camera. Uh-oh, I gotta... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm still here. Don't you worry one moment. I just gotta restart this camera. Just a second. Uh, camera, camera, camera. Whoa, my camera's gone. Alright. I'm still here, though. Uh, video capture device. The big webcam. Oops. It's coming. It's coming. Just, just you wait. You're gonna be just shocked. Not really. But hey, there we go. Can we? Can we? Turn on green screen, which is not usual for this particular one. But, you know, we might as well, since I was obviously not prepared. Yeah. Green screen. It's not perfect. Hey, that's good enough-ish. <laughs> Woo! It's, it's not amazing there. All right, that was a rough start. This, folks, is my Retro Game Treasure box for February 2018. If you don't know, you go to RetroGameTreasure.com and uh, you can set what systems you want games for, what games you already have so you don't get repeats, and what type of games you like, like wrestling and skateboarding games. So then you get wrestling and skateboarding games for systems you want that you don't already have, but they're a mystery, and they're almost always awesome. So I've really been happy with this service, and uh, I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon, so... Let's check out what's here today, because we are planning to play most of it on this here Analog Super NT. The color's changing. Okay. <laughs> this is a 1080p SNES. Normally, we would be able to use Super Game Boy to play Game Boy games, but my Super Game Boy is on the fritz, so I also have my Retron 5 over there waiting as backup if we have Game Boy games in here. So, there's a lot of folks... A lot of folks here trying to chat. So sorry that things were so sloppy. But let's check what's going on in here. Wow, we got a lot of folks. Sam Cook, that one weirdo. Slimes Can Craft. Mr. Buffalo. Um, Sam, I already said Sam Cook. Jay Bobo. Oh man, Jay Bobo, I haven't seen you in a while. Jay Bobo says, shaking my head. I thought you were in the big leagues now, Jay. Ah, I know. Amateur hour indeed. Sam Cook says, wait, how come 5J is speaking in chat, but someone else is speaking? Uh, that is folks from Twitch showing up in the YouTube chat. I has to use my logged in account to show you that chat. So whoever's in the brackets there is actually who's t is, uh, speaking on Twitch. And the same is true in opposite. So the folks chatting in YouTube show up the same way in Twitch. Okay. <laughs> Buffalo says, that's one creepy green screen. It's a cheap green screen. It's probably got weird scuffs on it and stuff. It works. It works much better on smaller screens, but uh, it does work. Huh, I guess it wasn't showing you guys the game in the background there. Anyways. Whew. That was a mess. We got a box here now. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into with this big bad boy. You know, I already caught a peek of something, and it was a Super Famicom cart. So I made some some uh, big changes to my settings. It's all Super Nintendo and Game Boy games, because I thought I would have a working Super Game Boy at the time. I don't. Um, then I could do all Super NT. I'll have to switch. Um, 
and I turned on imports. So we'll see what we get for imports. All right, first game, since I already saw it, we might as well grab it. It's a Super Famicom game. What is it? Oh, yes! Yes, you know, I actually do not have Super Mario Kart on SNES or Super Famicom. And now, I have the Famicom version, baby. Oh, yeah. It's registering kind of green there, but hey. Sweet. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy I finally have this game on Super Nintendo. That is a great pull already. I'm also going to check my Facebook over here because it doesn't seem to want to aggregate the chats. Okay. There's nothing in there yet, but yes. Yes. And may I emphasize a third time, yes. <laughs> Very excited about that. Oh, let's see what other goodies await us in here. Okay, I'm feeling a Game Boy game. Two Game Boy games. I think that's it. Because I think Super Mario Kart is kind of an expensive one, so. Let's see what we got for Game Boy games. What's this? Ooh, nice. Final Fantasy Legend 3 on Game Boy. Awesome. Sweet. So, this is actually made by Sunsoft, not by Square Enix. Very interesting. So, are they just a publisher or something? I'm not positive, but sweet RPGs, baby. I'm all about it. Oh man, this is an awesome box so far. Yes, yes. So uh, if somehow you missed it, Super Mario Kart, but on Fa the Super Famicom system. Final Fantasy Legend 3 on Game Boy, which is a full-fledged Final Fantasy RPG. And I think this is the last thing in here besides some sort of advertisement thing. What is it? Oh, nice! Adventure Island on Game Boy. I've actually been on kind of an Adventure Island kick lately. I found these games to be really cool, actually. So, nice. How is that showing up? It's green screening a few things out there. Oops. That's why you don't do the big screen with the green screen. Yeah, and then there's just a thing in here telling me that I can have a subscription to a retro magazine. Awesome! If you care, most likely you can go sign up too. And that appears to be it. The only thing left in here is a little riser that um, keeps the games from rattling around having too much space in the box. So, that was a concise but powerful box. Three awesome games that I already know are great games. So, wonderful additions to my collection. Let's get started with the Super Famicom game, since we already have the um, Super NT up and running. Some very strange loud sound just happened on my computer there. All right. I gotta do this. Again, I'll be right back. Camera, camera. Deactivate, reactivate. There I am. Sweet. Okay. Where's my chats at? Oh, hang on. Look at all. Wow, there's so many. Uh, Slime says, yo, Final Fantasy Legends 3. That's pretty neat. Yeah, this is an awesome box. Uh, Jibo says, yeah, they recently did the Blaster Master. Sunsoft? Uh, no. No, that's um, Inti Creates. But they did do Blaster Master um, back in the old days. I don't think Sunsoft is around anymore, sadly. Once a, an amazing developer slash, I think, publisher of games. Puffle says, RGT delivering once again. Yeah, big time. This is a great box. Sam Cook says, what games are you playing today? All three of these games we just opened. So I'm going to... Uh, here's my little trick. If I start running Super Turrican, and it stops running the cartridge. Let's take X-Men out. Chuck, Super Mario Kart in. Oh, yeah. We're not really playing Super Turrican. 
We've had that on stream enough for now. Uh, Jibo says, how are you liking the analog? It's so cool. It's so cool. Doesn't mean you don't still have the problems of physical media. Things not connecting right and so forth. But we'll get it. Uh, Slime says, wait, 5J, did you... Did the guy check his email for the giveaway? Oh, no, probably not. I probably have to draw a new name. I haven't seen anything come up. I'll also check my junk email just in case. Slime says, how about some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because I don't have any multiplayer games. One day, not today. We're doing our retro game treasure box. Buffalo says, by the way, Jay, I just got, oh, little Nemo the Dream Master for my NES and Bayou Billy. Dude, two sweet games. Uh, Bayou Billy, just punishingly difficult, though. Uh, little Nemo. <sighs> choice. Choice, choice. Ryu Quaza is here. What is up, Ryu Quaza? It's been a while. How you doing? Um, Delta's here. What's up, Delta? Jimbo says, they sure are, baby. They sure are what? Gone or still here? Slime says, rip, no more. I can't eat deluxe. No. No, indeed. Come on. Let me see that delicious Super Mario Kart. Mad LeBam's back. What's up, Mad? Come on. I know it's compatible with Super Famicom. Apparently, I just gotta move it around a couple of times in here. I also have pro problems with um, Aladdin on SNES. That one didn't like to, to run very well either. So this one might have the same problems. We'll get it. Bump Buffalo says, uh, I also learned that Pac-Mania was on the NES. Really? That seems strange. Slime says, blow in the cartridge. Classic. Sometimes when I would do a reset. Nope, nope. So I've been putting it in pressure this way. I'm going to try putting it in pressure this way. Those pins better be clean. Oh, no. Come on, retro game treasure. Give me a game without clean pins. I'm absolutely positive that is the problem. Those pins looked filthy. It's okay. We have the things to clean the pins. It's just... Now I have to get up and grab it all and do that. Let's give it a sec. Weirdo says, I thought you were talking to the dog for a sec there. She's not in here today. Not in here today. Well, woof. This is going to turn into a session where you get to see how cartridges get cleaned. Uh, I suppose in the meantime, I should probably just play those Game Boy games. Why not? I'll just move over this HDMI cable. We're here. It's here. Why make you wait for more unprofessionalism? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Come on, Retron 5. Oh, this is going to be stupid, isn't it? Yep, that'll be fine. Uh, Slime says, isn't there a Super Mario Kart virtual console on Wii U? I believe so. I believe so. That one where said the NES manual says not to blow in it. I guess they lied to us. You're not supposed to because it could get um, moisture in there, which could then cause rust on the pins and on the game chip itself. Um... It's not something that necessarily hurts it right away. It's something that hurts it down the line. What what When you're blowing on it is typically to get dust off, which gives you immediate results. So it seems like it's helping, but it'll cause bigger problems later. Okay, so the next one we'd opened was Final Fantasy III on Game Boy. So let's pop that baby in. -da 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 -da. Perfect. Jimbo says, not supposed to use rubbing alcohol either. Uh, I'm using isopropyl alcohol and a little pad that scrubs at it. Uh, it's 99% alcohol, so it um, evaporates like that. You get any on your hands, and it like dries your hand out like instantly. It's crazy stuff. Ooh, yes, that music, though. 
Weirdo says, how many times should I let my cat? Okay. The Pure Land Water Entity appeared and flooded this world's present, past, and future. The water brought monsters which hunted people day and night. Cities fell one by one, covered by the sea. However, a few individuals prepare for a journey that may determine the fate of the world. Behold, the sealed city Darm! Here, three young people send, sent back as children from the ruins of the future are living with the Elder. He has reared them together with his own granddaughter. The hero, I'm not going to go through the effort of renaming all these. Arthur, Curtis, Gloria, Sharon. Sounds good. Oh! Alright, Diviner and Sprite. There's an auto option. Let's see what auto does. So I can do auto for everybody but my main character, it seems. Okay, well, then he fights. Does he have any talents or magic or items? Nay. I bet those sprites are pushovers. Let's beat those sprites up. Myron used battle axe against Diviner. Ooh, 100 damage. But no damage. It's a Star Wars thing, don't worry. AKA Saga 3. Is that what Final Fantasy Saga 3? Is that what you're saying? Buffalo says, does Retron 5 not put a few colors in Game Boy games like the Super Game Boy or GBC GBA? Well, as you can see here, no, it doesn't. Some games it seems to run in Super Game Boy mode and others it doesn't. I don't understand exactly how it's programmed to work. Honestly. So, it is what it is. Sam Cook says, you know that box you opened, where did you get it from? Yeah, so that box is from Retro Game Treasure. It gets sent to me every month. So if you go to RetroGameTreasure.com, you can sign up for a similar box. And if you use the code 5J, spelled like this channel, then you'll get a discount on your first box. Ooh, Gloria has ice magic. Nice. Sweet. Well, maybe I should take all the auto off and see what everyone has. A weapon here. Talents or magic for Curtis? None. Just ice one for Gloria. For now, we'll just use her weapon. Ooh, this guy's got fire, ice, and cure. Very cool. He is going to be very useful for us. That's a big list. How's everybody doing? We appear to be in good health. Oh, that must be the Elder. He has way more health than anybody. And that's why he's the one out there doing 100 damage. Ba-bam. Myron. Guess that might be the last time we all use the simulator. I'll say goodbye right now. Arthur. Okay, see you. I love the motion of old 8-bit graphics like that. The sprites are just moving in some way or another. Sam Cook says, that's cool. Skook says, me on Twitch. Welcome, Skook. I don't know what me on Twitch means. <laughs> Sam Cook says, what is this game? This is Final Fantasy Legends 3 on Game Boy. Weirdo says, do you have a Loot Crate subscription? No, I don't. I guess the, these dialogues have just been going... Apparently, somebody's leaving, and somebody doesn't want the person to go. Who's gonna miss who? The next day. Arthur. We're all ready now. Elder. Good. Where's Sharon? I guess it's too hard on her to see you off. I'll miss her. Let me tell you about Borgen, the man who sent you back to me. A little flashback time. 
Organ, where are the kids going? To the past. Past? Quasar's time machine isn't finished yet. I've no choice. Changing the past is the only way to save the world from sinking. You're mad! Wow, they were standing in exactly these positions. Skook is meh. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, Sam Cook. Mad Lamb says, I know it's a weird question. Oh, is Attack on Titan the game that's coming on Switch and RPG? I don't know. Buffalo says, Jay, quick question. Do I need to power off my Switch before taking it out of the dock? Or can I take it out while it's running? The Switch? The Nintendo Switch? You can take it in and out as many times as you want, man. It's instantaneously switching from TV to the handheld. Yeah, there's no harm in that. It's awesome. Weirdo says, Jay's like, I am Groot! Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, we missed something again. Well said! Then see this! Come! Don't go! Who are these folks now? Faye? Faye, Dion! Monsters are going to get you outside. It's okay. We're going to make it safe so you can play outside. Be good. We'll see you later. Really? I promise. Ready? Yes, let's go. I love that just like one foot gets bigger and then the other. It's kind of fun way to show walking. This is nice. I'd like to see this in Super Game Boy colors, but this is nice. Myron, Sharon, I told you not to leave the city. I know, but we're worried we all grew up together. And Sharon's... Stop! Elder knows what he's doing. But... I'll guard the city. At least let her go. Hmm. All right. You should both go. You won't regret this. Thank you, Elder. Yes, they're coming with me. Ready? Let's go back there. Back to the future? I didn't know we were playing Back to the Future. Oh, that is sweet. What the? It's the Talon. A fighter that can travel through time. Then, we're off to the future? No, it's useless now. Take this to Kronos in Ilan. He knows a lot about Talon. Received a radar. What's this? Morgan had it. Might be a missing unit. Let Kronos see it. Right. Hey, the ocean's between here and the and Elan. Find float magic in North Tower. You can fly then. Monsters lurk there, so be careful. Okay. What? Where did he go? He just. Whoa! Some sort of cannon launched us there. Uh, mail your mail says that was really trippy, lol. <laughs> uh, Skook says, what game is this? We, we've said this like 15 times. <laughs> this is Final Fantasy Legend 3 on Game Boy. Jimbo says, back to the future with swords and lasers. Sounds like it. We're not going back to the future yet, but that is an ultimate goal. Buffalo says, having some internet probs, Jay. Back in a sec. Sorry to hear that. Well, they said go to the north... What was that? Um, distracted. They said go to the North Tower, so I figure we're going north. Okay. So far, I think we're just going to use all weapons here. Look at this, we're going to have a party of five people. That's great. Ouch. 
So with everyone in, finally, I was going to say, everyone in my party, I can't kill a single guy, but no, it looks like we, we got this. Whoever that dude with the axe is, I forget his name. How we doing health-wise? Curtis could probably use a little help. Who's got the magic for that? Not you. Is it you? No. It's this guy. Cure one on Curtis. Bing! Gotta get some hits on this dude. Simon's here says, Oi, Jay, what a surprise seeing you live. I know, it rarely happens. Lolo. How we doing? Looks like everybody's doing all right. Everybody attack, and this dude can go after the Diviner. We're obviously going to lose that guy from our party soon, because he is OP. He's there in the beginning to keep you alive while you grind up some levels. Arthur, Curtis, Gloria, they leveled up. Sweet. Beast Diviner's Meat. Let's eat it. Uh, I, uh, this guy. Arthur turned into Beast Diviner? What? Is this a permanent thing? I have talents, kick and fire. Weird. Oh, that's so weird. He's gonna use ice. Against the raven. We'll see what happens now that we're a weird beast diviner. Okay, we've taken out two of these punks. Kick was not particularly powerful. And apparently I can't use that fire. Take out a sprite. Ooh, miss. Um, Joe says, if Legend... Final Fantasy XI Legend was super tricky compared to this. Did you happen to get Saga Frontier 2 on Switch? Saga Frontier? I don't think so. What is that? Not quite sure what that is. I got something... Chronicles. Not Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, I have that too. Uh, Mercenary Chronicles, I think? Boy, I'm not liking my dude being a beast diviner. Gonna need to undo that... Whatever that is. Gotcha. So, so what are we playing? This is uh, Final Fantasy Legend 3. And we're gonna move on soon to Adventure Island on Game Boy. And then eventually Super Mario Kart um, on Famicom, the Super Famicom. But um, it's dirty. I have to open it up and clean it before it's gonna play. Which is very strange. Usually everything that comes from Retro Game Treasure is very clean. So, guess they missed one. I say that and then I'm gonna check this Game Boy. No, this looks spotless. Game Boy game looks great. So as you can see, it's a very classic style... Raven's meat. Sure, why not? He's already a... I'm now a monster worm? <laughs> This is a very classic style Final Fantasy 8-bit RPG. So if you like that sort of thing, and I do, then this is awesome. It's a full-fledged RPG. It's great. Wait, why did, did I get healed? Oh, wow, they don't even make you like have to do anything. Excellent. Derek? Who's this Derek guy? Dunno, but we're deleting his stuff because we don't need it. Who's the And Fox. Psh, get out of here. Strange. Jeroz is basically a Super Famicom version of this, lol. In Japan, this was Saga 3. Oh, interesting. That'd be awesome. I'd love to get that. 
Of course, text-based games on Super Famicom are hard, because I don't read Japanese. Action games like Mega Man are perfect um, from for uh, Famicom and Super Famicom games, but otherwise, um, a lot of stuff is just not really possible. What is with that flying, like, continent? It's crazy. Is it going to hurt us, or is it not? There's that North Tower. We're, this is probably our last fight here, and then we're going to... Ooh! We're probably going to move on to our uh, Adventure Island game. Ba-bam! Take that. Jeroz is right. This was the first Western release of it. Ah, got it. So they took a Super Famicom game and they ported it way down to a Game Boy for America? Or they also put it out in Japan this way as well. So there's like two versions of it. Don't have a weapon, so I guess we use our tail. Joe says, no, lol. Wait. Now I'm confused. What are you talking about, Jibbo? Sorry, should be more clear. You should be. You really should be. They're all leveling up. I'm getting lots of... Silver's meat. I guess I'm a beast fighter now. Ooh, I kind of look awesome, though. <laughs> okay, that's pretty sweet. We're going to save it here. And we're going to move on to our next game. Alright. So that was Final Fantasy Legend 3. Really cool. You know, if you liked any of the NES Final Fantasy games. And I did. This is very much in the same vein. But, wow, that whole, like, turning into beast thing. That's crazy. Looks like that's rampant in this game. I'm very curious to play more of that. Okay, Jibbo says, Saga 3 is Final Fantasy Legend 3. Just different names. Saga Frontier 2 was a Super Famicom game and just released in the U.S. Translated for Switch. Saga Frontier 2. Oh, so that's not anything to do with Final Fantasy Legend. <laughs> okay. Got it. So, completely separate topics. I was very confused. All right, we're moving on to Adventure Island on Game Boy. I like these this series. This um is the same series as uh Monster World, so Wonder Boy and Monster World, The Dragon's Trap, you know, on Switch. That is the second game in this series. Um Hudson ported that Monster World game to various consoles as Adventure Island. So this is really the first Monster World game with some differences. But it was entirely the same type of gameplay. You're just a weird little dude who rides on a skateboard and chucks tomahawks. <laughs> nice! I think the animation's a little bit clippy here. Probably looks better on the uh, Super Game Boy on the Analog Super NT. Ah! But it's sweet. Ah! So you eventually get aliens to ride and different... Yeah, there we go. Look at this dude. Now we're talking. It's got these charming graphics. And uh, if you finish the level with your upgrades, you can store them so that later in the game, if you are getting stuck, you can take from your store of upgrades and make the level easier. Saga 3 is the same game as Legends 3. Got it. But Saga Frontier is unrelated. Not a Final Fantasy game. So now, I can take away these upgrades. Now they're in my store. If I want, I can grab them out of the store. Or put them back. Since these are the first levels, 
you kind of want to store them. It's going to get harder later, so you might as well build up a store of weapons and dinosaurs. It's running a little bit choppy here on the Retron 5. Uh, I've actually played um, on my flash cart. Oh! What have we here? A secret level, you say? Yes, I do say. Check this out. No! Crap! Usually I beat those. You just jump around in the clouds on these, like, springs. <laughs> it's nonsense. And I love it. <laughs> if you have the skateboard and you trip over those rocks, you lose the skateboard. But without it, your character just goes, Ugh! And he's fine. He doesn't even get hurt. I like that there's a hunger meter in this game. So yes, you can take damage and die, but... Otherwise, if you go too long without eating, you also die. You have to keep your hunger meter full. <laughs> it's just like in life. You know, oh man, I can't go three steps without eating. <laughs> um, Bailey's joined on Periscope. Thanks for joining again, Bailey. Nice to see you. Jim Bo says, I'll send you a link for later. Got it. Let me uh, grab that real quick. Open that in my browser. Pling! Okay. I'll store my weapon again. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Something's dinging at me. Oh. Oh, I guess that was a whisper that Jibbo sent me and it alerted me on my phone. Hey, Jay Bobo. Chuck a 5J get good in there, even though we haven't had need for it yet. Because why not? The world can use the 5J get good emote. Ooh, this little fairy is like invincibility and it makes you travel super fast. It's like a star in Super Mario. Whoa. Be careful when she leaves, though. Ooh, 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 secret level. There we go. Thanks, J-Bobo. <laughs> Welcome to my secret room. I'll give you this item. What is it? And what are you? What did that item do? Am I jumping extra high? I might be jumping extra high. It's a little hard to tell. Hmm. Let's see if we can store it. J-Bobo says, I, I could could have used it at the very beginning of the stream. Haha. <laughs> When I was trying to set everything up and I was obviously super unprepared. There's some crazy slowdown happening there. Okay, whatever that thing was that he gave us, it's immediately gone. I think. Am I jumping higher than before? Maybe. I'm really not sure. I can really leap though. It is pretty impressive. So these first levels, pretty easy. But uh, when you're on the skateboard, it gets kind of tough because uh, you can slow down and go faster, but you can't stop. So you can find yourself tripping on rocks and losing your upgrade and all sorts of stuff. But the aliens are cooler anyway. Little monsters. Oh, secret level! Off we go. Cook has joined the uh, Discord. Nice. Would you like to skip this island? Ooh. We're skipping this island, fools! <laughs> Look at him carrying us away. That's great. Sweet. Next island. Looks a lot like the first island, if we're honest. Some bones in the dirt. Some fossils, maybe worth some money. Man, he can leap. You should have a competition with Mario. Ooh, ooh, ooh. More secrets. This item. What is this item? Oh, a one-up. Nice. Nice. Uh, Mad Lamb says, what actually is Discord? I keep hearing about it. 
Uh, it's a service for chatting and um, in text and in voice. Um, whenever you create your own Discord, you're creating a server that's all your own. So it's like you have your own personal chat rooms and personal chat channels. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can like add a whole bunch of other stuff into it, various bots and things that can kind of turn it into other stuff. Um, I've seen people turn Discord rooms into like a text Pokemon adventure. It's kind of crazy. And all sorts of other things. See if this guy gives us a 1-up again or something else. Is it random? It is not random. 5J, or sorry. Jibbo puts a 5J good good in there. I died! No! Nice to be able to catch a stream. That's true. A long time. Hitting the old dusty trail. It was good while it lasted. See, man. Uh, Mega Nintendog is here. Thank you for watching again. Says, well, we got some Adventure Island going on here. Good to see. Yes. Yes, we do. I like Adventure Island. It's got good music. It's just fun, simple gameplay. See, I should totally take that thing out before jumping. It's killed us twice now. I'm getting eager. Greedy. Uh, the second one on Game Boy is really good. Um, it's even smoother. Uh, there's more to it. Uh, it has like a overworld. It's kind of fun. Traversing to... Um, there's some secret levels and stuff. We're going to keep getting this extra life as long as it's here. We're never going to die this way. It's a messed up looking dragon though. Look at them eyes. It's like snake or goat eyes maybe. Goat Eyes, the dragon. Seems like a dragon name. I like if there's a variety of palm trees. Oh, wonder what that egg was. I had no idea he was gonna drop something. Must be something good, since they positioned him right over a hole where you're likely to drop the item. Mad the Bam says, is this game coincidentally on 3DS Virtual Console? I'm not sure. You could check. I know they do have a bunch of Game Boy stuff. But they kind of stopped with the Virtual Console stuff on, on 3DS. At the very least, they slowed way, way, way down. Oops, I kept my, uh, my weapon. Okay. Well, having an upgrade changes what's in the eggs, so... We'll see what's in this egg now that I already have a weapon. The skateboard! Nice. Oh, I forgot that little flower means a dude is coming to get you. Is that a little Game Boy? Nice, for a thousand points. I like when you slow down and he's like, Aah! Oh no, there was the secret. We could destroy the skateboard, but... We could store this for later, too. Which would be nice. So, we're storing it. 2,000 points for that, too. Nice. And the man says, I know I, I really searched these things on my own, but... Oh, so it is on there? Cool. 200 points, okay. Not bad, not bad. I can't store the skateboard for later? Fine. So when we move on to Super Mario Kart, I'm gonna have to get up. I'm gonna have to get my uh, cartridge cleaning stuff. I've been noticing some of my stuff is a little bit dirty lately. Some of it's a little harder to play, so I open it up and I clean it. And with that isopropyl alcohol, it dries so fast that it should be safe to play in the Super NT. <sighs> Pretty well right after cleaning it. Oh! Oh! <gasps> yes! No! We had what looked like Lapras. Pokemon, you know? Lost her. Tragic. 
All because we didn't have a weapon to take care of that guy. Mega says, just a small notice, only a few weeks before the Wii Shop channel disables the ability to add points. Yeah, um, that's true. I went on there yesterday, bought some stuff, including Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana. So that's tragic. But um, I really think that they're reevaluating how they're re-releasing old games. I think we're going to get something that's going to be a little bit more future-proof and not tied to a single console so heavily. Hmm. What is that even? Strange. I like this, this hunger system better than a timer because it's like you can't dilly-dally but it's not like you have to finish the level in this amount of time. It's you just need to collect another piece of food before the big long meter runs out. Woo! Smoking these fools. So, yeah, I think it's a nice alternative to a, a standard timer. Whoa! Thought I might move or something. Oh, I don't have a weapon. So, so far, this level hasn't given us any eggs. Look at that. So, if you tried to, to beat this, you didn't get any um, upgrades, you could um, take out, out of your store there to help make it easier, your stockpile. Ooh, nice, a thousand points. Sam Tander is here. Thank you for watching. Says, what games have you got on your Switch? I have over 50. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, basically all the first party stuff. And lots of indie games. Lots and lots and lots. I like the retro styled stuff. So a lot of the retro styled stuff. Matt, uh, Matt LeBam says, sorry to keep bothering you with my random questions. No problem. Buff is back. What's up, Buff? Omega says, shame on all the WiiWare. Shame of all the WiiWare that's going to be lost forever. Yeah, unless, again, they re-release it in some way. Some way. Ooh, a swimming level. This is new. I have to hold jump. Got it. Thank goodness I have something to defend myself with. <laughs> I'm not sure I would trust fish milk. That's nasty. You kill a fish and some milk comes out, don't don't drink that. This guy's stupid. <laughs> don't drink nasty fish milk. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, this is probably not the best version ever of uh, Adventure Island, but... It's pretty cool. It is completely different from the Super Adventure Island we were playing the other day on the Super NT, so that's cool. This is the original NES adventure, but portable, so it's fun. Hey, Michael Bro has joined us. Says, howdy, Jay. I was just wondering if you had gotten your box yet. Can't stay long. Gotta finish my taxes. What'd you get? I got Super Mario Kart on Super Famicom. I got Final Fantasy Legends 3, and I got Adventure Island. It's a really good box. Only three games this time, because there was a lot of value in there. Whoa! Wait, if that's a boss fight, I'm definitely going to need a weapon. Give me that. After we beat this boss, we'll clean out that cartridge. What? Oh, we have to beat the level again. That was a waste. My stock. Uh, Simon says, well, it won't be lost forever. At least not through mildly illegal ways, Lel. Mega says, of course, true, you could just download some of them onto emulation or homebrew, but I'm not of that sort. Um, yeah. It's a weird gray area. Like, I have a flash cart for my um, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. 
but doesn't mean that I'm not going to buy more Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. It's kind of a way to see what games are garbage and what games are good. And also, if you happen to have rare games, flash cards are good because you don't have to um, be worried about playing and inserting and uninserting your rare game and you know wearing down the pins or the uh, contacts of your game. Um, so I think there's reasons to have things like flashcards for sure. But, you know, it kind of... It's a weird halfway point. It's not really emulation, because you're playing it on the original system. But you are using a ROM, which you may not necessarily own the physical cartridge of. So, it's a weird middle ground. Yeah! Took them out! Well, that's a lot of fiery explosions in the water. Michael Bros is very nice. I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy 3 myself. This is Legend 3. So you're playing Legend 3, the Game Boy game? Oh, I see. We, so we skipped the boss in the first island. Cool. So it says, but I'm sure all that stuff will be released to some other place. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, we are going to jump out. I'm going to get stuff to clean my cartridge so that we can play Super Mario Kart. Because we have to play Super Mario Kart. I mean, come on. Come on. So, pardon me. We're going to have to disrupt the layout here a little bit. There's so many cords for me to step over. Whew. Let's do. As long as we started very unprofessionally, we might as well continue in our unprofessional manner. We're getting all hooked up back up here. I gotta move over this HDMI cable. Power that off. Come over to the Super NT. Okay, that should power up. We're getting back into things, folks. Slowly but surely. Yeah, so eventually we're going to lose all physical media anyway, right? Over time. Unless you get reproductions, which again, that's a weird gray area. You're buying a physical game that, again, is basically a ROM um, pushed onto a cart. It's like, well, yeah, but the other games are rare, expensive. None of the money goes to Nintendo. And decaying, dying. So it's like, well, hard. Weird, weird, but we're, we got to preserve gaming history because there's a lot of awesome games out there that deserve to be played for years okay so this one's too big gotta have a special screwdriver so i have a kit just for opening up nintendo cartridges here we'll let um we'll let the music for oh yeah i gotta turn this back on for super turrican and play while we're cleaning this that way it'll be epic. This one doesn't fit perfectly. Apply enough pressure though, it should, yeah, it's working. 
Okay, we got one of the two screws out of the front of our Super Famicom game. Okay. Come on. Got it. Okay. You open her up. Ooh, this is kind of a large Super Nintendo game. It really fills out the whole, well, Super Famicom game. It fills out the whole cartridge really well. You know, this actually isn't very dirty. It's very worn. So we'll still try to clean it, but it's not as dirty as I thought when I was looking at it in, uh, when I was in, it's hard to see inside the slot, you know? So we'll still clean it and hopefully that'll make it a little bit more readable. But uh, I'm not surprised that it was very much worn, you know? went in the, the Super Nintendo a lot of times. So this is a little bottle of super, super, wow, of isopropyl alcohol. It's going to go on this little card thing. It's got a scrubber on it. A wet one side, the other side is dry. Bottle noise. I'm going to scrub on the pins. Trying not to touch a whole lot on here. damage any of the chips. Look at all the chips on there, man. Is that in mode 7? Dang. It's a killing machine. I use the dry side to dry it off. Hmm. It's one side will do the other. Hopefully, this will help us to get this to work. But I can see, just as we're talking about, it's getting worn down from being used so much. So, that's what's going to happen to all of our physical video games. The digital ones will just be left behind when a new system comes out. If we're talking about, you know, a scenario where there's no um, emulators and ROMs, you know. Just the original games. The digital ones will just be gone, and the physical ones will deteriorate and wear down. Okay, well, it does look clean. It's the best I can do. So, stuff it back in here, see if it works. Mad the Bam says, what is your favorite video game franchise? Mine is Star Fox. Ooh, Star Fox is good. I like Star Fox. Mega says Sly Cooper for me, nice. Michael Bro says Mega Man here, yes. Mega Man, so good. So, so very good. Okay, we got it back. Slap it together. Put the screw back, screws back in. Simon says, by the way, Jay, I saw there's a somewhat cheap copy of PS for PS1 of Final Fantasy IV plus Chrono Trigger on Amazon. So, that's cool. Um, the, the thing I don't like about those PS1 versions of those Final Fantasy games and Chrono Trigger is that the load times are ridiculous. They're so long. So, I feel like there's better ways to play... Um, Final Fantasy 4 for sure and Chrono Trigger on the Wii Virtual Console which I have now as of yesterday um, should be a much superior way to play it so I think I'm gonna stick with those those ways for the, those games okay how's that it's looking good okay We'll give it another second before we really put it in there. I didn't stuff it into the pins yet. Put away the rest of my tools. 
So I got some tri-wing screwdrivers in here. Some little tools that help pry apart cases for games. A little brush for dust. Um, some Allen wrenches. Star wrenches. All things that you might encounter on various um, retro cartridges. So you can open them and clean them. Okay. Get this little wet card and the alcohol out of the way. The isopropyl alcohol. Okay, baby. Should be dry. We'll just give it a few passes. Put it in there. It did look pretty clean, though, unfortunately. So this might just be a very used cartridge. We can also try it in the Retron if we need to. But I want to play it on this. This is where I want to play it. Link, the uh, Dusk Lycanroc is here. Thank you for watching. This is what games do you get in your Retro Game Treasure Box. I got Super Mario Kart on Super Famicom. We're having trouble getting it to work because the pins are very worn. Uh, we also got Final Fantasy Legend um, 3 on Game Boy and uh, Adventure Island on Game Boy. Hey! All right, be very careful. Yeah! Woo! Simon says, theoretically speaking, you could move those games to your Wii U, right? Uh, they are in my Wii U. I transferred my Wii to my Wii U, so I run it off of my Wii U. Haha! <laughs> Here's the one thing. Okay, we can see GP. Good. We'll start with the loser class at 50 cc's. So there are just a few words in this game. It's not too complex, though. I'll be my main man, Weege. Let's see how it goes. Good. See, again, we can't read it, but we can tell that's Mushroom Cup. That's Flower Cup or Fire Flower Cup and Star Cup. Let's go for the middle one, the Flower Cup. Ba-dee-boo. -ba Alrighty, let's do this. It looks so beautiful. I love Mode 7 on, on uh, Super Nintendo. So, how they accomplished this, if you're unfamiliar with what Mode 7 is, um, they take a flat image. So, basically, this racetrack is a normal image of just a pixelated racetrack. You know, it's vertical. But then there's a um, technology inside the Super Nintendo that can take a flat image and it can rotate it in 3D space any direction that it wants to in live time. So what's happening is you're just a sprite of a character and the mode 7 is moving the map around to make it look like you're driving on it. You're just uh, a vertical flat sprite on top of a not quite horizontal flat sprite moving around below you and that's how they make it look like you're racing and it looks really good in this game and it looks really good in uh, F-Zero and uh, that's how they can also take a lot of sprites in games and they make them move up and down and change shape and all sorts of stuff it, it's a really cool effect something that the Genesis was completely incapable of it didn't have that kind of technology in it so they had to try and achieve things like that in a different way that didn't look as good. Link says, nice, Super Mario Kart is my childhood game, right? So good. I love the battle mode, too. My friend and I were playing the battle mode, I don't know, a month or so ago. Buffalo says, why is the title in English, though? Uh, in Japan, certain things are just in English. It's, it's a weird mixture of um, English and... Japanese characters and I believe there's like different types of characters that they read too. some that are more like Chinese characters and I don't know I'm not a linguist but from what I've heard there's multiple different kinds of Japanese characters um, 
and they also use English characters, so they're used to that mixture of English and Japanese. I think, in some ways, certain words never make it into the Japanese language as in, like, a different word, you know? Um, boy, I'm forgetting what some of them are. Mario might might be one of them. It's not like, Mariutsu! It's, it's Mario. In Japanese, his name is Mario, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, it's just interesting. I don't think this is the one that has a shortcut. But there is a, um, a little bump, a jump. Oh! Nice throw, Yoshi. There's a little jump that's hiding a question block behind it. And you can jump over the jump and get the question block if you do it just right. And I did not. I'm not squealing around these corners very efficiently. We're in first, though, of course. It's 50cc, so... If we lose this, we're just a big gold loser. Yoshi is a murdering machine! He's just killing it. Alright. Oh no, he got another item and we did not. Ah! Somehow he hit his other egg with a new egg and it wiped it out. Weird. Oh! We jumped over the gap! Yeah! <laughs> That was a closer finish than I expected. Simon says, hey, now we can see Princess Peach chugging champagne. Is that a thing? Like if we beat the cup, is that something that she's doing? Just like a, ah, ah, it's champagne. I guess we'll find out. Or is it Bowser? We'll find out. Man of the Bam says, it's both. Simon says, mode seven can tilt, stretch, and spin a sprite. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really, really cool, and it makes for a lot of uh, ingenuity in Super Nintendo games that you just couldn't get on other 16-bit systems. That's why Super Nintendo was so great. Link says, I can only play it on my SNES Classic. That's a great way to play it. I have an SNES Classic, and I'm happy to have it in multiple different forms. It's kind of cool that I have this uh, Super Famicom version as my physical version. As you can see, it works all the same. It's really no detriment when you're in here. All the numbers aren't <laughs> Japanese numbers, right? It's not a thing. <laughs> you can read all the times and placements and everything very clearly. It says lap on it, right? That's not a thing in Japanese characters either. If you didn't see the title or menu screens, you'd have no idea this wasn't the... Ugh! the SNES version of the game. Dude, oh my goodness. I cannot believe how murderous Yoshi is in here. He is just like, it's like a heat-seeking egg he's chucking out. It's crazy. Gotta stay in front of him, but boy, I really gotta look out for those eggs. Chucking him. He missed that time, but <sighs> somebody wiped out of my shell. <laughs> so I learned a trick for going around corners from F Zero. You tap the accelerator, you can go around the corners really, really well in Mode Seven games like this. The Game Boy Advance also had this similar technology. I don't know if they called it Mode 7 when it was on GBA, but there were two F-Zero games and there was a Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart game on GBA, and they all used this similar type of technology. Tilting a flat image. It's really cool. I mean, that's why it also has a weird super pixelated look at a distance. <laughs> You're looking at a weird angle of a flat image. Miss all of that. Woo! We got it. We got it. Oh, we smoked him. Look at how far ahead we were from place two. Take that, Yosh. Simon says, Buffalo. This isn't Super Mario Kart. This is Super Mario Kart. 
Link says, as, uh, as I remember, Bowser in Japanese is Koopa. Tad in Japanese is Kinopio. Tad? Who's Tad? Oh, Toad, probably. <laughs> Got it. Come on, baby. Is this our last one? We might have one more. Oh, I love the floating thwomps in this one. I can't believe we didn't get a single mushroom in the last level. We could have cut through some terrain to even get a larger head start on folks, or larger lead. Oh, this one's kind of a maze. Hey, where you going, Yosh? Yeah. Stop the thwomp. Oh. Once again, laser precision almost got us. Oh, are you kidding me? As I say, he almost got us. Nails me, directly lands on top of me with one of his eggs. Insane. Ugh. Come on. Oh no! We've hit so many of these thwomps. Ooh. That will not do. Move, Mario. Move. I decided to go in a different direction, and that was a really bad choice. We might not qualify this lap. Is this our last lap? We might have one more. I really hope we do. Otherwise, I don't think we qualify. What did I land on? Maybe the thwomp hit me. Lap four. It's still not the final lap. There's five laps? Oh, this is merciless. Look at all these different times I'm wiping out. Do not be in the middle of the pack. Even on the old Super Mario Kart. Just don't do it. Oh, there's a boost there. That could have been handy. Bowser, I don't like your castle right now. He almost got me with another fireball. All right, final lap this time. See if we can get in front of somebody. Yeah, That was pathetic. Don't go that way. We figured that out already. We see Yoshin first. We see us trying to lose it. Desperately trying. All right, we'll take second. We're still first overall. Man, that one was rough. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Someone says, get good, Jay. Did you see all those times I got hit with stuff? Just repeatedly. Killed me. I still lost by less than a second, though. So not, not bad. Still way ahead on points. Look at that. Six points. Psh. Come at me, bro. This might be our final late race. Not getting my turbo starts. I'll time it better. Do, 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 do. Oops, I meant to chuck that behind me. In front is a deadly proposition. Thank you, acceleration tapping. That works so well. Ooh, yeah. Whoa! Somebody pegged us with a green shell! It's hard to even tell when that happens. You kind of start wiping out before you even see the thing hit you. Watch out, Yosh. Coming to get you. Yeah! I gotta look out. He's gonna hit hit me with an egg again, just like so accurately. 
See, Mario behind me is wiped out. I like that you can see all the racers on the map below you. It's a nice feature of one player. Does he have a green shell? I think he did. No, he's got an egg. Oh, we still almost hit it. I kind of like that all of the racers have their own special items. You know, that's something unique they never did again. Like, there's no way for you to get an egg as an item. Only the computer player, as Yoshi, can chuck eggs. That's it. How many eggs does he have? He's not getting them from question marks. He's just chucking them willy-nilly. This is 50cc. This isn't supposed to be 150cc where it's really hard. But he is just endlessly chucking those. right in my path. It never ends. We foiled him, though. Someone says, I can't say much. I was awful at this game as a kid, as a teen, and now as an adult. I'm telling you, acceleration tapping. The corners are where everything falls apart, right? Well, let go and put the acceleration back on really fast. You won't lose a lot of speed, but you'll lose just enough to be able to go around the corner um, very, very well. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. I think it'll change things for you. I only figured that out from playing lots of F-Zero, and you absolutely have to do that in F-Zero, along with tilting your um, flying machine, because otherwise you crash. Yay! We won the cup! <laughs> Hits you in the head. Yay! Oh, something is two bottles. Where'd those come from? And how are they not spilling more than that? Yay! One! Jibba 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 jibba! 50cc! Exclamation point. Dashes. <laughs> I've read what I can read. Ah, <laughs> uh, dip dip ba. Let's see. Mad Labam says, do you know Notes live stream schedule? Notes live stream? Who's Notes? Oh, Nate's? Oh, I do not know Nate's live stream schedule. Sorry. Sweet! Can I do battle in one player mode? I don't know what I just chose. This might be time attack or some such. This doesn't look like battle. Well, we did something. We're going to reset, though, because I didn't want to do whatever that was. Michael Bro says, I miss this game, lol, even in Japanese. Link says, if you play as Bowser or Peach, they would drink the champagne. Okay, let's give that a shot. We'll do another GP round here. Keep it at 50, so it should be easy. Go Bowser. Yeah, we'll do the Mushroom Cup. Should be the easiest. Planner is here. What's up, Planner? Says, hope not too late. Yeah, a little bit. It's not going to go on much longer. I says, I'm playing Blockland right now. I'm making some awesome builds. Cool. I don't think I've ever played Blockland. Sounds like a Lego-ish game. do 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 I also like that coins make you go faster. The more coins you have, the more of a boost you get. Oh, he turned into a star right before we got there. Crazy. We didn't hit him. Missed him by a hair. See, you're like squealing around the corners, but as soon as you let off the accelerator at all, your momentum dies really fast. So it makes it much easier to go around the corners using that acceleration tapping. Of course, it's not as cool looking as... But that is, like, too sharp. Like, that is such a sharp turn. With, but it also has, like, a delay at the beginning. Like, it, at first you drift, like, forward a ways, and then you go really sharp around the corner. So, like, it's a weird hybrid. So acceleration tapping is the easiest way to make a sharp turn accurately. See a toad? I'm lapping you, sucker. 
There we go. Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Link says, that's time trial. Sam Tander says, I love this game. It's so good, isn't it? It's so good. Watch us rise to the top of this. I still didn't get a fast start. I had that button on a long time. Bowser's just slow. Oops. I meant to put it behind me. I'm not in front. See, that's too sharp. I tried to do the, the squeal turn. And on certain corners, it drifts you into the outside before you do the turn. To, yeah, it's, it's tricky. Acceleration tapping. Much better. Get way more grip out of it. See how I immediately stop sliding as soon as I let go of the accelerator at all? Perfect. that behind for some unfortunate soul. We have nobody near us right now. It is fun to do a big squeal once in a while, though. No lies. Successfully. It's not as fun if you fail at it. Whoa! Almost got myself. I guess nobody else dri drives along that line. But we hit that almost twice in a row exactly. You can hear me tapping around the corners there. See, so you try to do the squeal. You can do it around this one. Sorta. Of. Nah. Tapping, it's better. Planner says, yeah, Blockland is basically like Gary's mod, but everything is Lego. Build whatever you want out of Legos and invent complicated contraptions. I mean, invent. Uh, and devices. Really old game, released in 2007, but very fun. Nice. Mad Labam says, it's midnight in England. Ooh, so you're over in England, huh? Nice. Six hours ahead over there. Wubba wubba dub dub. Planner says, there is a lot of drifting in this game. Well, yeah, lots. One thing you might not know, Jay, is that I am a real human being. Bean. I do not know that. I didn't know there was such thing as human beings. <laughs> Planner says, Tommy Wiseau reference. The room, I see. Got it. Link says, as long as the sequel isn't too long and you spin out. Oh, the squeal. The sequel. Is it what? As long as the squeal isn't too long and you spin out. If I find the perfect corner, I squeal. Otherwise, I just tap that accelerator. Oh, we should have hit accelerate long ago. Bowser's really slow to accelerate. Oh, this might be the one that has a shortcut. Ooh, but the only way to get to it is if you have a feather. I don't know if you saw it. It was on the left over there. So you have a limited amount of chances to get a feather to take this shortcut. If we get a feather, I'm going to go for it. Even if it means I fail and I mess up very badly. Which is quite possible. There, on the left. There's a thin, like, boardwalk where you can jump over a gap and skip a, a corner. And go straight towards the, uh, the finish line. only got like one lap left and we've been missing all of our items okay two more nope, nope, nope. come on feather nope. come on come on nope that's not gonna do it Okay, this is our last chance. 
Nope. Well, we tried. He's gonna try and attack me now, but if the race is over, bud, and you're in last place, I lapped you. Bing! Uh, Planner says, Jay, when was the last time you had ice cream or a milkshake? I assume a long time since they're loaded with carbs. I'm avoiding sugars of any kind, pretty much. Very long time, very long time. So I says, dude, I haven't realized I've spent 12 hours today writing my thesis. Ugh, sounds awful. Just awful. I'm sorry you have to write a thesis. Scusi. Scusi. Alright, I think this is the last race. And then we're gonna see if Bowser drinks the champagne. Still, nothing but a slow start. We could not get the special turbo start to work. Oh, and you missed the boost pad. Oh, somebody, yes, somebody hit my banana. Deal with that, flipper. We are very solidly in first place here. Luigi's in second. Look at, look at how far behind us he is, though. I wish you could do something with the coins, other than giving you that boost. Um, and which is why I'm really glad they brought back coins, because the coins were gone for a long time in Mario Kart. And then they brought them back with Mario Kart 7, and you could use them to buy stuff. Leave that there, yes. Koopa wiped out on a, on a Koopa shell. Irony. I'll take it. So, I love that they brought the coins back. I love that they increase your speed and they're used to buy upgrade parts. I hope they continue to expand on that idea. Ooh, boost right into the wall. It doesn't make you go faster. Alrighty. Last lap of the whole cup, I think. I remember my friend and I would mess around while we were playing this. We'd, like, position ourselves underneath the thwomps and see what happens when you get hit. I can't remember. I think you just spin out. But in 64, you flatten, like, a piece of paper. I don't think that happens in this one. I think it's a little bit too complex, but still. Uh, they're discussing Simon's music degree he's writing the thesis for. Rock opera concept album. Nice. That sounds cool. Sounds like a fun paper to read. Planner says Bowser drinking champagne. Thought this was all ages, Jay. Well, it's 16-bit well, Bowser. There's really no harm. It could easily be any sort of sparkling beverage. Planner says there must be some missing context here. For what? <laughs> Just wait. Oh, we have one more race. So, we just won uh, a Grand Prix as Luigi, and he, like, takes his bottle of champagne, he pops the cork, and it makes the little cheap, cheap blimp deflate. And then he just suddenly sprouts a second bottle, and he's just, like, twirling him around. Apparently, Bowser doesn't twirl him around. Apparently, he drinks them. Dunno, I didn't remember that was a thing. Apparently, it's only him and Peach. Since I never raced as him or Peach, that'll be why I never knew that. So, we're gonna find out right now if that's a real thing or not. And if it is, maybe it's a Super Famicom only thing. Don't know. I could see them. Oh, really? Censoring that out of the American version? Easily. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? All those fools just made me spin out? Woof. Donkey Kong Jr., get out of here. Also, I think this is the last appearance of Donkey Kong Jr. We never see him again. There have been contradicting statements from Nintendo that Donkey Kong Jr. is today's Donkey Kong. And other statements that said no. 
Wait, what? But that's what it said in in uh, Donkey Kong Country. But apparently, there's no final word on that yet. It's like the Toad's head thing. They said, no, that's his head. But you know, there's the Super Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Is that what it was called? Where he took his hat off and you see his head. You're like, okay, so why is there this contradicting info? Same thing with Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong Jr. Is he today's Donkey Kong or isn't he? We may never know. Mad the says he was making jokes on fish milk, so I guess not. What? There's nothing wrong with fish milk. We killed a fish in uh, Adventure Island. He dropped a thing of milk, and I was like, don't... Don't drink fish milk. You're swimming in the water. If you kill a fish and milk comes out, don't drink that. That's weird. Don't do it. And it says Bowser is too manly to twirl a bottle of champagne. We're going to find out. Planner says he'd just eat the entire bottle, glass and all, like a 2000s Grinch. Ha! <laughs> When I said, Jay, have you played Star Fox Assault? I can't remember. No, I have not. I have it, though, so I shall at one point. Planner says, you should if you haven't. Link says, Donkey Kong Jr.'s final appearance was in Game & Watch Gallery 4. Mm, that's true, I forgot about that. Game & Watch Gallery, he was all over that place. I had the second one. Great game. Planner says, I would love to see you play through that game. Uh, what do you call Donkey Kong when he's MLG? Donkey Kangs. Noise. That's got to be it. It's got to be the final race. We're going to see what happens. He looks so proud. He looks so proud. Pops the cheap, cheap thing. <laughs> wow, look at that. I don't think anything is of it staying in there, though. It's like all just pouring out of his mouth. <laughs> That's funny. There you go, confirmed. Bowser somewhat drinks the champagne while much of it spills very, very rapidly. Be kind of surprised if he was actually able to swallow any of it. It's a lot coming out there. <laughs> Planner says, We was Kangs, Jay. Well, Kangaroo! <laughs> well, folks. That was my Retro Game Treasure box for the month of February 2018. It was a really good box. This game, obviously, incredible. And it looks so great on my TV with the Super NT. We also opened Final Fantasy Legend 3 on Game Boy. A very traditional 8-bit Final Fantasy RPG. There's got to be so many hours in that game, though. So we didn't get very far. Uh, Adventure Island, also on Game Boy, which is a fun, eh, I don't want to say mindless platformer, but a fun, more all-ages friendly type platform. You know, it's not too difficult. You're kind of just having fun exploring the islands, jumping around on monsters and stuff. It's a fun game, and it has good music, so I enjoy it. Link says, what if you got Game & Watch Gallery 4 in March's Treasure Box? Isn't that one on GBA? I don't think I'm going to have GBA on, so that one's not possible. But I could get one or three. I already own two, so I won't get that one. Folks, you all the best. Thanks for hanging out. I shall catch you next time. See you guys.